From Brawl to Commander, we start up from the bottom, now we here. So, I am MC Rad, E M C E M C E R A D. We're keeping that in. And I've made uh, all my Brawl decks into Commander decks. Uh, I've still got a couple more to do on video because I'm still ironing out some kinks. My fairy deck is doing really well. The, um, I can't what the name of it is, Savage Fairies or something like that, Fairy Vandals. Let me know in the comments what it's called, I forget. But I do have this uh, Chulane deck, which again, I don't know the freaking name of, but Chulane deck. And uh, I'm pretty much going to call it my Draw Power deck. Or my Blue, White, Green, Chulane deck. However you want to call it, either way. So I've upgraded it to Commander from Brawl, and I'm going to go over some cards that, that are pretty helpful, some that make it noteworthy, some that continue the draw power, things like that. So Tulane says he's got Vigilance, and whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card, then you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. Not tapped, just onto the battlefield. Um, and then I can return target creature you control to its owner's hand, so... I've been got I've got some stuff like that in here. Let's go over what we have and why this is why this works. So I've got Vivian in here, and this is the um, War of the Spark Vivian, Champion of the Wilds. Mostly just so I can play creature spells as though they had flash. Because with with uh, Chulane, anytime I play a creature, I can draw a card. So bing bang boom, um, doing that for that. I have Charming Prince in here um, because I can bounce Charming Prince with uh, Chulane, and I can pull off some of these abilities more than once. Um, so, you know, I want to scry two the one time, I want to exile a target creature I own the next time. That's awesome. Uh, adding land to my mana pool never hurts. Um, Tome of Legends, whenever your commander enters the battlefield or attacks, put a page counter on Tome of Legends. Things like this just aren't bad to have. Um, Hexproof, just a powerful angel. Soul of the Harvest, so, I mean, uh, it's a six, which is usually an, an, kind of a hard thing to do. I mean, in Commander, it's pretty simple, but when you have all this land, which Tulane is putting out, it helps a ton. Um, Incubation Druid gives me some stuff. So Command Tower gives me land. Uh, Viridity Circle. An opponent controls, uh, becomes tapped if it isn't being declared as an attacker. I may draw a card. So draw power, more draw power. Um, arrest just you know, locks things down. Just some some staples. Prison realm, another staple. Soul tie, the really good stuff. I got my lands, which I must have gone through these recently because they're kind of in order. Um, explore gives me a land, uh, an additional land. I may play this turn, so another land, and drawing a card. Uh, drawing a card is the main thing of that one. Going to get land. Uh, mind control, stealing control of somebody's creature, which is awesome. Arcane Signet, four mana. Um, this is great. Blue and green, I mean, it just goes in this deck. It makes it so I can counter a target spell. Frilled Mystic. Adamant Will is pretty cool. Evolving Wilds gets land. Time Wipe. I mean, that's just, that's great. Return a creature you control to its owner's hand, then destroy all creatures. So, everyone gets to keep a creature. And, uh... No, excuse me, I get to keep a creature, then everything else gets blown up. So, usually I keep Chulane, but he can just go back to my command zone, so there's a lot of other creatures I can keep in this instance. Uh, Gaia Engine gives me land. Land of War Elves gives me land. Just a Crashing Bridge Wall Defender. I got a Boar. I don't mean to bore you, but, you know, that's what I got going on here. Again, cost frickin' eight. So it's like, ugh. But with all the land, I've, I've pulled this out a number of times. Um, Fairy Vandal, Forbidding Spirit. Forbidding Spirit, that's actually a good one. Let's cover that. When Forbidding Spirit enters the battlefield until your next turn, creatures can't attack you or Planeswalker you control unless their controller pay two for each of those creatures. So that's awesome because until my next turn, they can't do that. But guess what I do? I bounce it. So... I put it back at the end of my turn, and then I bounce it, and then I bounce it, and then I bounce it. So it basically makes it so every turn, as long as this thing keeps coming back and leaving, because it enters the battlefield. So I can bounce it out, and it stays. Um, the, 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 the effect stays. So with um, Charming Prince and Chulane, I can bounce the crap out of that card, and it just does awesome. 
Um, Generous Stray enters the battlefield, draw a card, so more card draw. Um, card draw, most of the, for most part. I mean, Planeswalkers are cool anyway. Bond of Discipline, I like to put that in a lot of decks that I have that are white, and I have a lot of this card, so it's awesome. But basically, it's tap all creatures your opponents control. Creatures you control gain lifelink, so it's just a free swing um, with all or some of your creatures, depending on what you're playing. Mine's Commander, so definitely not all. Um, more land and flying. It's got Death Touch, so that's pretty cool. Draw two cards. Prevent all combat damage with a, with a... I mean, it's not quite Fog, but it's a Mist. Uh, Beast Whisperer. Whenever I cast a creature spell, draw a card. So, very good to draw cards. Simic Guild Gate. Refocus, which is drawing a card. Regenesis gets cards from my graveyard. There's Fog. Um, Hungering Hydra, which is pretty neat. Hungering Hydra enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it. Uh, where X is the amount of land I decide to pay, which, again, if I have a ton of land, that's great. I get to counter and pay three life with that one, so that's just not bad. Um, sacrifice, and you gain three life. This is just a haste, awesome card. Uh, Jace allows me to draw more cards. At the beginning of your upkeep, draw a card. Let's see, more card draw. So, the, the name of the game on this one, and Soul Ring, turn one Soul Ring, baby. The name of the game on this one is really, really just card draw uh, and I, I, this one everybody knows this is my card draw deck um this helps this makes it so i can do get and go get just tons of stuff and it's pretty cool i uh, can't be blocked that's always good to have in there uh, first strike and shroud exile target enchantment just something that's bugging you you can get it out and gone another uh, seven casting cost but you can always get it out and Mask of Addison. I'd rather have um, the Boots, um, the Greaves, Lightning Greaves, but I just don't have Lightning Greaves right now. I just don't have enough of those to go around. I probably should proxy it, but uh, I don't know. Sometimes that's weird for me. So anyway, um, if you have questions about this deck, leave a comment. If you like this kind of thing, subscribe and tell me on Instagram or Twitter or Twitch or wherever. Um, I'm most active on Instagram, though, so tell me there. It's also MCRAD, E-M-C-W-E-R-A-D. Um, like, subscribe, tell me you liked it, tell me you hated it in the comments. Um, yeah, other than that, it's just a, a good day in the hood, and uh, thank you for watching. Really, I mean that.